trying to figure out which kind of fundraising page to do. There is uh, GoFundMe, there is You Caring, and there is Adopt Together. Today is a yoga pant kind of day because there's just a lot to do and it's a lot around the house. I feel like my mind's going a million miles an hour. I have like a hundred things to try to figure out. Um, right now I'm trying to figure out which kind of fundraising page to do. There is uh, GoFundMe, there is You Caring, and there is Adopt Together. Um, when I talk to friends of mine, there are um, pros and cons to each. So I feel like the pro of GoFundMe is I feel like that's the one that most people know. You Caring, I I didn't really know was an actual fundraising page. I just thought it was a blog. So the third one is Adopt Together. And my friends have used it. I've gotten very high suggestions. Um, GoFundMe will take 5% of the donations. So it helps them and pay for all of their employees. But when you add up how much you might be fundraising, it's, it's a big percentage. So Adopt Together takes much less of a percentage, but it, it works different. So instead of the money just going straight into your account, you almost have to like withdraw it. They pretty much are giving you a grant is kind of how it works. But that one's a little confusing, so I'm gonna try to call them and try to figure that out a little bit more. But my friends used them and loved them. Um, I have to start figuring out other fundraisers like auctions and different things, so we gotta get on that. Okay, well, that's not what I thought it was gonna be. I signed up for Adopt Together to put a profile together and then they sent me an email um, saying that they would get in touch with me. So I guess um, I don't really have to do much right now and we'll wait to see when they contact me and move forward from there. I'm hoping I can put together kind of like a haul of all the stuff that we have for the new baby so far. Most of it is like hand-me-downs though, so it's not like a haul of all this new stuff, but it's still fun to kind of see all this stuff that you have to kind of pull together. Also try to remember all the stuff that you still need. So, anywho. Hi. <gasps> Did you eat your fish? No, no. You don't want your peas? She's such a good eater. She really only likes fruit, to be honest. That's like the only thing she really wants to eat. But she's starting to do a little bit better. We're, I'm trying to feed her more vegetables and my pediatrician was talking about just giving her fruit as snacks versus like with her meal, which was a really good idea. So um, we're gonna have peas and little fish, um, pieces of uh, fish burger. And she's eating it so far, so that's good. Ooh. I wanted to let you guys know that um, I did get a message back from Adopt Together. Um, they messaged me back within a day, so that's no big deal. I just have to send them my proof of doing the home study. So we actually today started filling out paperwork for the attorneys. So because we are actually adopting out of state, we have an attorney in California and we have an attorney in the other state. And so we actually have to sign a contract with both attorneys. So that's what we were doing today, sending them a check to kind of start the process and having a retainer is what they call it. Hopefully when we get moving forward more along, I'll explain that a little bit more. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll go ahead and answer anything that you might have. We will see you guys in our next video. Bye.